Hello everyone and welcome to Gran Turismo 6 and the GT Academy 2013 demo. Uh, this is the first screen that's appeared. Uh, I've just muted my telly just slightly so I'm just going to turn it on. So I apologise if you suddenly hear that. Uh, but yeah, we'll start playing through this. So, we've got to uh, welcome to GT Academy. I'm Lucas Ordinance, winner of the first GT Academy competition. Nice to meet you. Hello Lucas. So first things first, let's get you signed up. What's your name? Tishne! <laughs> uh, most of you already know my name because a lot of you follow me on Facebook and Twitter. So you can get a good idea of my name now. There we go. Okay. Yep, let's go for it. Yeah, official member. Boom. Oh, we're going straight into a test. You're going straight into a test. Oh dear. I've only just woken up, so this is gonna be interesting. Three says that we're at Silverstone. We're in the uh, new pit complex looking at this. I hope they're not just going to start straight away because my pedals and stuff aren't set up. Uh, welcome to Silverstone Circuit, one of the world's best slot most, but it's time to get down to business behind the wheel. Do a lap of the track and try to visualise how the whole car is moving. There's no need to flow it, just take your time and get settled in. Uh, well, I've got pedals, so I'll be doing just more than that, hopefully. It's an important part of being a professional driver. Don't let me down! Oh, it's on auto drive at the moment. Um, this wheel feels really weird at the moment, so I assume it's not set up properly. <laughs> if you look at the uh, dialogues, they've changed. We've got a, a weird fuel tank. Oh, here we go, here we go. Whoa! Oh, I'm in automatic, so I can't change that. Oh, oh. This feels really weird with this setup. I don't know which track we're doing here. It looks like we're doing the full circuit. Whoa! Yeah, we're doing the full circuit, and I can't change it to a uh, manual yet, so it feels really weird doing this in automatic. Let's just boot it. We're gonna ignore Lucas slightly and just boot it. Let's go for it. Break a tiny bit later than that. Yeah, we could break much later than the uh, marker there. Reminds me of old touring cars games. This. And there we go, we're going on, coming on to the old uh, start finish straight. Lovely, lovely uh, history this this track. Oh, we're breaking off now! We, well, we, we managed to stay on. <coughs> we need to break while turning. Oh, I love this. Yep. Well, that's what you meant to do. You meant to break there. And then we're going to come in. Did that slightly wrong. At least I've still got the same sort of reverse keys. No idea what all these buttons say. No, I like this view. I love just the slight enhanced graphics that they've done for the dials. It really puts them out. <clears throat> now that's the turning point. <laughs> if you remember on my track experience video, the uh, end of the kerbin has got that little bit of green and that was the turning point the instructor told me to do. And this is a really hard coin, you've got to get it properly right. We've done well there, uh, going through here, you've got to balance the throttle, make sure you don't lose it on the exit. We can accelerate a bit quicker here than we did on the track guide, at uh, track day. And we can accelerate through, and we've come through to start finish straight. Boom! Finish! Nice work! Cheers Lucas! We'll uh, see what happens now, eh? And there we go! 
the end of the shakedown test, don't forget you can change switch buttons, control, acceleration, braking, suit your own preference. You can see the start menu up in the top right. Oh wow, yeah, look at that. We got credits. We got all sorts. <coughs> oh wow, we've got race events. Uh, one mate race for owners in this one. Leave you better get down to the dealership and buy yourself one. Well, that's excellent. Uh, I'll just stop this part of the video here, <laughs> and then we'll go jump straight to the next part. Um, so I'll see you guys in just a second.